Hello everyone. This is the second among the talks on relevant health issues of women and children and today's talk is on diagnosis of pregnancy. Having missed your period, you are now anxious to find out whether you are pregnant. So what to do? So I'll explain to you about the symptoms of pregnancy and how to confirm a pregnancy. So what are the symptoms of pregnancy? This is actually a quite difficult area to deal with because as none of the symptoms are 100% sensitive for diagnosis of pregnancy. That is, you may have these symptoms even if you are not pregnant and you may not have these symptoms even when you are really pregnant. But generally, when you are married and sexually active and you have missed your period, it becomes relevant to do a pregnancy test. But remember that delayed periods can also be due to stress, travel, change in location, diet, sickness, etc. And also if you are having irregular periods or you are breastfeeding, again delay in periods becomes unreliable as a symptom of pregnancy. But whatever be the situation, when you have a missed period, it's better to exclude a pregnancy with a simple pregnancy test. Can it be that you are pregnant and but it, you did not realize that you were pregnant because you were having regular periods or periods with probably a decreased flow? Yes, this is also possible to some extent. Uh, there is something called an implantation bleeding. That is when the pregnancy gets uh, implanted into the uterus, some people may have bleeding at the time of the regular periods and this may continue because of the delay in fusion of the different layers of the uterus. So, you may be having regular periods even in, when you are pregnant, though this is not common phenomenon. The other symptoms other than missed periods you may have, which is commonly shown or commonly realized is the morning sickness or the nausea vomiting of pregnancy. 50% of women may have the symptom, though it may range from mild nausea to some aversion to food or smell or to excessive vomiting where they are not able to tolerate even a sip of water. And this can happen not only during the morning time, it can happen during the uh, during any time of the day. So this is ne not necessarily a morning sickness, it can happen during any time of the day. The other symptoms you may have is increased salivation so that you may have to spit frequently, increased frequency of urination, you may have to use the loo more frequently because the enlarging uterus is pressing onto the bladder. You may have breast discomfort, the breast starts to increase in size and the pigmentation around the areola also increases. You may also feel increasingly tired, more sleepy, there will be increased constipation, heartburn etc. And uh, by around three months uh, when your uterus becomes an abdominal organ, then you can feel the uterus through the abdomen or you can feel the pregnancy through the abdomen and hopefully by this time almost all other symptoms like increased frequency, your vomiting, tiredness, everything usually subsides. So how do you confirm pregnancy? So most of the pregnancy tests available are checking for the presence of HCG which is a hormone released by the layers of the embryo. So once you are pregnant, the HCG hormone is released from the baby to the mother which will be present in the blood as well as the urine. And most of the home pregnancy kits are relying on urine pregnancy kits and they are 99% sensitive to detect pregnancy and they can detect pregnancy even before the missed period. That's one to two days before the missed period also. If you do the pregnancy test, it becomes positive. It shows positive. But this doesn't mean that you have to do a UPT even before you have missed your periods unless the situation demands so. So what is the ideal time to do a pregnancy test would be to wait 2 to 7 days after your missed period and then do a home based urine pregnancy test. Since we are checking for the HCG hormone in the urine, it is there in the urine in maximum concentration in the first morning sample of urine. So that is the ideal sample for doing a home pregnancy test. So you check the expiry date and the intactness of the kit. You go through the instructions given as there may be slight variations in the various tests and uh, when to read the results for each kit. Usually once the urine is placed in the well, it takes about 5 to 10 minutes for the test results to be read. As you might have noticed, there are two areas in the results box. There is C and T. So if the kit is working properly, everybody will have a purple line in the C area. That's a control area. If you are pregnant, you will have another line which is almost similar in intensity in the T area also. That is, when you have two lines in the results box, congratulations, you are pregnant. 
So I've met so many couples who come and tell me that they have done a home pregnancy test and they want to do another test to confirm pregnancy. So isn't a UPT enough to diagnose? Isn't a urine pregnancy test enough to diagnose a pregnancy? Yes, a home pregnancy test says that you're pregnant. It just tells that. But if you want to find out whether this is a normal pregnancy or whether it's a growing pregnancy, we'll have to wait till uh, at least after six weeks when the baby shows, we can see the baby and we can see the baby's heart beating through the ultrasound. The chance of having a false positive test, false positive pregnancy test, that means when you're not pregnant, the test shows positive is very rare. So most of the time or majority of the time when your pregnancy test is positive, you are pregnant. Another situation can be that there is a T line but the line at the T area is very faint. It's not as colorful as the line on the C area. Is this abnormal? The faint line just says that the HCG hormone present in the urine is less. So this can be due to a false timing of doing the test. If you are doing the test in the evening when the concentration of the hormone is less, you may get a faint line. Or if you are doing it at the wrong time, they have, you have miscalculated your periods and you are doing it very early, then it can be faintly positive. It can also be that the pregnancy is not good, it's a failing pregnancy, it's not producing adequate amount of hormones, so you may get a faint line. In case of a tubal pregnancy, that is a pregnancy which is not inside the uterus, again the line can be faint because the pregnancy outside is not producing adequate hormones. So if the result in the result, if the line on the result tub or the T line in the result tub is faint, better get a professional opinion. With the wide availability of the blood test, that is the presence of the hormone in the uh, in the blood, that's a beta HCG test. Especially, it's widely available in cities, especially like ours. We get result in the same day. We get the result in one and a half to hours. So we see a lot of patients coming with a beta HCG report, and or patients who come in and ask for a beta HCG to confirm a urine pregnancy test. So is that really required? So blood test for beta HCG is not a necessity for diagnosis of pregnancy in all patients. But in a select group of people, especially when we are suspecting a tubal pregnancy or a molar pregnancy or pregnancy after infertility treatments like IVF, serial beta HCG may be required for the diagnosis of pregnancy. This is because in majority of people who are going to have a normal pregnancy, the blood test as well as the urine test just says that you are pregnant. And as I have mentioned before, we will have to wait for the scan to show the baby, the beat, baby with a beating heart uh, which is seen after 6 weeks to confirm that this is a normal pregnancy. So the ideal time when you want to a scan a patient to confirm a pregnancy will be around 7 to 8 weeks. So you can assess the location of pregnancy, you can see how many babies are there, the, whether the heartbeat is okay, whether the baby is growing according to dates and any other details about the uterus, ovaries etc are accurately picked up by 7 to 8 weeks. Though we may do earlier ultrasounds for people when an abnormality is suspected or anticipated. So when you have a missed period or you have morning sickness, increased frequency of urination, breast discomfort, fatigue or you just have missed periods without any of these symptoms, it may be due to pregnancy. So do a urine pregnancy test within 2-7 to seven days of the missed period and if positive, come for a professional opinion. Thank you.